Okay, so the sand cast rings like this. Uh, it's it's not particularly easy, uh, but I I have this. Uh, I bought this really old sand casting system. Uh, it cost quite a bit of money. I mean, we're we're talking in the thousands. Um, but I I had to have it because I wanted to experiment with it, and I have hundreds of these patterns that are kind of like this, and so that's what I'm going to be working on here. This particular pattern is kind of like I don't know that kind of looks like the Chevron gas. Uh, gas station sign. I, I don't know what it is, but um, it's probably got a particular name, but that's what we're going to use. And so we're going to use this side of the flask, and this is going to go down, but first we're going to take, this is a piece of half round, and it actually works out to be about a size nine. And I don't know if you if you look around, it's really hard to find anything that's pre-made uh, that's in in a round part That comes in every finger size. They don't they just come in in, in certain ones. So anyways That's gonna fit in just like that. I I fit it in with the the hole right here and I'm just gonna take The clay here and it's the kind of you kind of want to get that to stay centered there. Hopefully it did. We'll know when we turn it over. In fact, we could probably turn it over right now. And you, we can see that I'm a little bit off. I'm just going to push it over. And I'm going to set that back down. Okay. We'll go, we'll go with that. Add some more in there. Now, I've said this before, I'm in this trailer, and it, even though it's a really sturdy trailer, if I hammer it, everything bounces, so I'm just going to be pushing the, the clay in. Once we get it in there, we can Scrape that off. Okay, it's a little off center, but that's okay. So let's see. So we're going to pop that off. And then what this is, is a, it's a round piece of tubing that's the same as this. So what we want to do is we want to powder this. So we're going to powder this, just like that. We're going to take this ring, we're going to slide it on here, and we're going to center it. And I usually center it as best I can off of these, these vents right here. So we're going to take and we're going to push that down in. Just like that. And actually we can pull it back up. We can take a look and see what we got here. So, in a regular sand casting, if you didn't do it this way, it'd be really hard. I mean, imagine if this went in this way, somehow you'd have to build a core that fits in there and also uh, works out on the inside. That would be really hard to do. But using this system, let's make sure we put this on the right way. Using this system, uh, th this is this works really well. So we're going to push that back down in there, talc it some more, and then you want to make sure that this channel right here, this edge, doesn't have anything on it because we want these parts to fit together just right, nice and tight. And so now we're going to go with our more clay here. I used to kind of try and hurry through these videos, and I think I'm not going to do that anymore. If they take a while, they take a while. 
know, if you get bored, you can leave. But I think taking my time might be better. So I push that in there. Now, it doesn't matter if this lines up in the center. So now we're just going to pull that apart, just like that. And what you can see here is we have the bottom part here. And this is where the sprue is going to go. And what I have found is that to make the sprue, this, this little blue paintbrush with a nice tapering end, if we aim it, now you want to have this flat down against something because when you push through here, uh, you don't want it to uh, push the clay out. And then once you get it through, you can pop it through like that and lightly push it. I'm going to show you something. My flask, this is a design of mine, it has a groove on the inside. And that groove is so that the clay goes up inside there and it's deep enough that when you, when you push like this, you're not going to push your clay through. So there's a reason for that groove. Okay. Now, another thing to think about is you have to push that way because if we're, you can see all this clay that's popping up. Imagine if that was on, on this side, that, that wouldn't be good. So we're going to pull that out and then we're going to take, this is a good size. This is about six millimeter and really you want to have a good size sprue here. And it all, it, it kind of made the part of the funnel there. So at this point we can take, we can cut a little nicer funnel here. So that's where the metal is going to pour in. Don't push on this, just lightly do it with your finger and make it smooth. I'm just kind of packing down the edge of that hole there. So this side's pretty nice here. Uh, what I've also discovered, and if I, if I can find it here, is these patterns that I sell. This is a wide band. I can actually put it in here and turn it back and forth in it. It helps make this uh, nice and smooth on the inside. So there we have, this is a really good side here. We have the, the bottom of our shank here. So we can set this aside. And now this is the more difficult side. So you want to like Grab it on, hold the flask down, and you want to pull this straight up with your two fingers so that we can take this up here. Um, sometimes you have to kind of pack down the center a little bit, and that can be done with one of these, and then blow it out. And we got this great impression here. So at this point, you got to kind of think um, about, we're, we're probably going to use a vacuum because this is a really uh, fine clay. And so if you're using a fine clay, uh, if, if you can't vent it, and that's the problem here, you really can't vent this. Um, you know, I made these. Uh, vent channels here, but you can't really vent to them. 
uh, it doesn't really work. So, and my experiment today was to try and vent to them, but I, seeing this, I don't think I can do it. So I think we're going to leave that just like that. And then we have this, and of course this has to be filled up so that we can set kind of a core there uh, so that uh, we can we can fill up the round part there. So to do this, you have to use a clay that's different than this clay. And it has to be something that's more powdery or say not quite as compact. And I have to say this stuff in some ways it feels like it kind of lost its uh, its strength. It's not holding together well. But we're going to try and pack it in there good. Okay so that's packed in there well. So you once you pack it in there, you got to have a way to remove it. So if you take a dowel, I hope it holds together. Probably just good enough. Drop it in there. So what you have here is this. That's the same finger size as that. That fits in there really well and the same as as that so all three of these have to work together uh, and if they don't you're gonna have problems so anyways we'll set those aside and you want to look here you don't want to have any opening on that side or on that side um, but we can kind of take some of the some of the clay and just kind of pack it in there just to hold it in place. Just like that. Now that, the clay in the center, it's really not even a clay, it's a I mixed it myself and it's kind of like a, the grain is not as compact so air is going to travel through it and that's what we want. So now we're going to take, we have this side here and this, of course we need to make sure that this channel is nice and clean and we're going to take the two halves and put them together. So now we would pour our metal in there and it would go around that center part and create uh, that, that pattern. Um, maybe we'll pack a little bit of clay in there. So the next thing that needs to be done, and this took me a while to learn this, is at the bottom of this needs to have a, a tiny concave to it. So that it, in the center, it's deeper than on the edges. You don't want to go too low, you don't want to hit your, hit the pattern there. But we're just going to make this a little bit concave. I'd say that's pretty good. So at this point we're going to stop this video because it's getting really long. And the next video will be actually casting this using the vacuum assist. So we're going to take black electrician's tape and we're going to tape this seam here so that when this sits on the vacuum uh, we don't, we're not pulling anything from the sides. It's just going to pull straight down. So 
we'll end it here. All right, thank you.